Hey guys, Miracle Max here. Today I have with me my mate Nate. Hey guys. Right, today we're going to do something that's been done a million and one times on the internet and that's the uh, Mentos and Diet Coke experiment. So, Nate, tell me, why do you want to do that? Oh, I basically just love explosions. And they're oh, fun absolutely. to watch and absolutely. they're fun to create. Definitely. So what actually causes it, Nate? Any thoughts? Well, I think it's because uh, there's already a lot of carbon dioxide in the uh, Diet Coke mm -hmm. and when the, mi the mints are dropped in, it sort of accelerates and releases the carbon dioxide and which creates the explosion out the top. Yeah, exactly right. So we've already watched a few different ones on uh, YouTube and some people have put them in big open containers. They're not very successful because what you need is you need that container with that shape where the, the size goes from a, a large container into a small outlet and that's where you get the massive amount of pressure release that gives us that height. So that's what we'll be doing. So bear with us as we uh, give this a shot. Let's have some fun. Good. Alright, so as you can see it is super windy out here so we're going to have to be as quick as possible. First experiment we're going to do is with roughly about half a bottle of Diet Coke and a full packet of Mentos which is, was it 14, uh, little, yeah, 14. Capsule, 14 yeah. little uh, lollies? So we'll see what happens there. Uh, we're going to film from a couple of different angles, hopefully that'll work alright. So let's see what happens. Three. Hmm, how disappointing. Okay, this is round number two. We're going to try a completely full bottle of uh, Diet Coke. The last one didn't go so well, but keep in mind that was only half a bottle of Diet Coke. So full bottle of Diet Coke, freshly open, and a full packet of Mentos. Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one. It was, it was a little bit better. Okay, so far been a bit disappointed with what we've seen. We haven't seen that 30 foot or 9 metre um, geyser that goes up. But we've got a few little innovations in mind at the moment. Uh, we weren't happy with the magnet scenario, so what we're going to do now is use a funnel on our little tube there. Nate's just going to put his thumb over the top and then remove it. At least this way we can put in more Mentos. So, bottoms up. We've also got our monstrosity going here. We've managed to fill up the coke a little bit. Unfortunately, you do tend to lose a little bit of the uh, carbon dioxide when you uh, fill it up, but we'll see what happens. So, Nate's back there with the funnel. We'll see if we can get this bad boy to shoot a geyser. A lot of foamage, that's about it. Once again, disappointed! Okay, last shot. We've got a fresh bottle of 1.25 Diet Coke. We've narrowed it down to about six uh, Mentos that we're going to use. It seems like we were using too much for the reaction to work properly. So, last time, let's see how we go. Six Mentos, 1.25 litre of Coke. Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one, go. So unfortunately Nate had to head back home early, uh, so I'm flying solo on the rest of this experiment. I've been thinking a lot about this experiment and why it wasn't as successful as I would like it to be. So I've come up with a few alternatives that might make it better. One of the problems that I realised was that I have been using just a 1.25 litre bottle and not a 2 litre, bo two litre bottle. No bang for the buck, so I need a bigger size, a 2 litre bottle that will give me that extra oomph to get the uh, jet to come out the top a lot quicker. Also my dispersion, the way I put it out, the Mentos into the bottle, isn't as successful as I'd hoped. So what I'm making up now is a dispersion device. It will look something like this. So all I've done is grab a plastic milk container, minus the milk of course, just kidding, 
and put that aside, one I've prepared earlier, and I've cut a section out just to strip so that I have the plastic itself. In turn, I've cut a section out and turned it into a little roll here and just folded it in on itself, taped it up nicely. But what I've used as a guide is the Mentos itself. So notice it's with the packet on, it slides through quite snugly, but firmly and it holds it in place. So that's the secret. That way, when I get the Mentos out of the packet and put it through my dispersion device, it falls through nicely. Awesome. I've done one other thing that's a little bit different. I'll show you shortly why I've done it is that I've cut the top off a coke bottle so it's just the neck itself and I've rolled my dispersion device so that it fits snugly inside then I'll cut the top of a bottle cap out so once the hole is in place I'll just glue that in place you're probably saying why is he doing this it seems like too much work but let's have a look at the result before you say what you say okay I've got a few more things I've got to tweak on it. I've got to glue it together. I'll get back to you shortly. Out to the shed. So what we need to do is cut a hole in our lid here so that our dispenser will slide into that and then it can be glued in place. I reckon it's around about a 21 mil hole, but I've only got a 22 mil uh, hole saw for this. So I'll give that a shot. I figure if you take out, can you see in here where there's a rim? That's where it seals against the, uh, the drink coming out, the carbon dioxide coming out. So I reckon if you cut to that, or just around that, then you should be mighty close. The main thing is to make sure that the Mentos can actually slide through that hole and freely so that it can go into the drink. So we'll give that a shot. Okay, it's good to carry a few spare lids. So grab not just one or two, grab three or four in case you screw it up. This one I've screwed up, so um, I'm going to try another one, fortunately. I found another one that should do the trick, even though it's off a different bottle. Uh, the thread is the same and it should work okay. Um, instead of using a, saw, a, a hole saw, um, it's probably best to start small and work your way out. I'm going to use a Dremel um, that should cut the hole out nicely and make it easier to fit. So, And another thing I thought of, when you actually work on it, it's probably a good idea to put it actually back on the bottle and then you can drill a hole in safely. You can hold the bottle itself. Um, as, opposed, as opposed to just trying to hold the lid. So that's what you're looking for, something along those lines, as long as the uh, Mentos should be able to drop straight out of that. I'll now glue that in place. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the other one. If you know anything about rockets and propulsion, generally um, a rocket is used in conjunction with a thing called a nozzle. Now a nozzle, all it is, is a hole drilled somewhere that's smaller than the actual propulsion area. So what happens in, inside, all this expansion play, takes place, it gets forced into a smaller hole, and in that case increases the pressure and gives more thrust. So all I'm going to do for this particular section which in actual fact will screw on the top here later on, is just simply put a hole through it. Some people have suggested around about um, an 8mm hole, something along those lines. So I'm just going to use the Dremel itself as the hole, the nozzle. So once that's screwed onto my dispersion device, that will give us a nice little nozzle with high, hopefully high pressure. So before we glue it all together, there's one last check we need to do um, to make sure that everything works okay. So I'm going to stick my dispersion device on top and simply drop the Mentos through and hopefully that should go in okay. One, two, three, goes in perfectly. I'm just going to tidy up some of those edges to make sure that there's no uh, swarf hanging off before I actually glue it back together. Also, don't push it down too far before you glue it. You want to get it right up the top there. Reason being is because when you screw it down, um, this will interfere with the thread and it won't seal properly. And only glue it from the top, of course.
One last thing we need to do before we're ready to fire this bad boy off is to put in a release mechanism for our dispersion device. So all I'm going to do, remember that the Mentos are going to be sitting up the top here. We need to hold them in place before we release them into the coke. So I'm just going to drill a hole here and out here and then I'm going to use a skewer and poke it through there. The Mentos will stay in place and then I can release it whenever I like. So clean out any burrs that might be on either side, this side or on the inside. And just make sure that that's nice and clear. Stick it through, do a test run. Holding, away she goes. She's ready for the launch pad. From the research I've done, uh, the normal Mentos is very, very shiny as you can see. But the actual fruit ones have a rougher texture to them. And you can see the surface is a lot rougher than the other one. This is what I've been told. So these are meant to have more surface area and contact with the coke to give you a better explosion or chemical reaction. And mm, mm, they taste really nice. Okay, so a very quick recap. I've made up the official Miracle Max uh, Metos dispersion device. I'm on the official Miracle Max launch pad, as you can see. We're ready for takeoff. So I've now put in 10 Mentos in the top, as you can see, and they're holding, holding firm. If you have a close look, you can see them. That's one I've prepared earlier, as you can see. All I've got to do is undo the lid on the Coke, Diet Coke, remember. Screw it on, pull the plug, and let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Hmm. Could have been better. Number two, now we'll put on that little nozzle on the top and hopefully that'll give us more pressure, higher thrust. So this time we have nine in there, but notice I've got my uh, nozzle on the top. We'll see what happens, who knows. This is the last time, okay? You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Much better. -er. Only problem with doing something like that is the cleanup afterwards. Never mind, it's all in the name of experimentation. Okay, time to hose it down. Hey guys, what did you think about that? Well, we tried every possible avenue to try and get plenty of thrust out of that bottle, the, the chemical reaction between the Mentos and the Coke. In the end, the only one that seemed to work really efficiently was by putting a nozzle on the top. And in fact, that's what rockets use and rocket scientists use. They put a nozzle on to increase the pressure. And we saw that, didn't we? I hope you enjoyed this video. Nate and I have had a wonderful time doing it. If you have any suggestions that you could improve on this video, the experiment itself, please put it down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to give it a like. So until next time guys, we'll catch you later.